Mark, in terms of overall standard, it would have been below what you would have expected to produce in a quarter final. But for drama from 4 1 down and the maximum, it was an incredible night to witness. Yeah, it was a really strange game because that maximum probably didn't deserve to be in that match because it was quite scrappy at times. There was a lot of balls missed. There was pressure moments, turning points. Uh, but it was great for the crowd to experience that. You know, the buzz that I got, something I'll never forget because the hairs were standing on the back of my neck whenever that black finally went in. So, yeah, it was just a crazy game. You could sense the energy as, as the break was progressing, the, the, the yellow with the rest, and then it was a horrible black to finish. When you heard that eruption from the crowd, is that one of the best moments you've ex one of the best individual moments you've experienced in the sport? Yeah, absolutely. I think the only one that would maybe come close is the two moments I had in Belfast, making the one four seven and then winning nine eight against John in the final. But I'd say it was louder there, if I'm honest. Uh, very close actually with the Belfast one with John. Uh, but yeah, one I'll never ever forget. I'd love to experience that again. And to do it against a good mate and, and one of the greats, Mark Selby, makes it all the better. Very sporting hug from him as well. But the decider was nuts. It, you know, you both were clearly feeling the pressure and the fatigue being after midnight. Could have gone either way, couldn't it? I know it's going to sound so silly, but I genuinely wasn't feeling the pressure in the last. Uh, I completely took my eye off the red on 50-odd. Uh, unforgivable. It's only probably one of two shots I played that match that I'd love to have back just mentally because I wasn't ready for it, I just hadn't decided what I was going to play. I felt really calm and then to miss that and then think, oh, here we go, going to lose this 6-5 after that chance, but put some really good balls at the end. I was clear, thinking clearly the whole the whole match, apart from that one or two shots. So I'm just happy that I turned it around from 4-1 down and not playing very well. The, the win against Mark is a really, really good achievement. And now you've got a an action-packed Saturday night. It'll be round out there. Plenty of energy. You and Carter for the right to take on Sean or Ronnie in the final. These are the matches and the stages you love. You're never intimidated by this kind of environment. It's more the other way. It inspires you. I hope so. Uh, but this is why I play. This is why we all play. That You want to play in these big matches, big events and bit from a big crowd. So hopefully you can go out there and just enjoy it and find some form. It would be a huge prize if you were to beat Ali. You can make a case for what a wonderful occasion it would be to play Ronnie in the final. You've beaten him here in earlier rounds. But you can also make a case for saying how good it would be to play your fantastic mate, Sean Murphy. So uh, if you had a preference, which way do you go? I, I know I joked about it before. It would be bragging rights at stake if I was playing Sean, but I'd, I'd rather play Ronnie just for the occasion. His tournament, you know, his backyard, the all-time great. You no, know, that, that's... The, you want to win these tournaments beating those type of guys and that's no disrespect to Sean. If Sean was to come through, I'm sure we'd enjoy it and we'd rib each other a little bit. But yeah, if you gun to the head, I'd pick Ronnie. Okay, well, first of all, it's Ali Carter. Get some sleep. We'll see you tomorrow night. Well done this Thank evening. Thank you.